so... Yeah, Trinity is the name of this chapter. Which is, will probably be murdering them all next. Yep. So my bet is, yep, we're gonna skip straight to uh, the part where Alyal Sanchez literally steals one and then starts murdering everybody. Uh, I can't use my boy Al Oh yeah, I haven't been using Alu yet. But yeah, so that's where he literally steals the Gundam and starts murdering people. Well, not murdering people, he tries, but he gets stopped. He murders the two Trinity siblings, and then Nina gets taken in by, um, Ribbons. None of that ends well. The briefing room. Thank you for giving us permission to board your ship. I am the Gundam Meister for Throne Eyes, Johan Trinity. Hmm. Throne's Wee's Gundam Meister, Michael Trinity. And I'm the Gundam Meister for Throne Dre, Nina Trinity. Seriously though, I love their designs. The double O has top notch designs. Not only for the double D's. I just like the faces, look at the eyes. The eyes look nice. Then we got peak UC design with um, <laughs> Bright. Are, all are you all acquaintances of Technical Forecaster Sumeragi? Hmm. No, we only know her by name. Why do the three of you possess Gundams? And why aren't those machines and celestial beings data banks? I can't answer that. Nor can I tell you about the solar reactors our thrones equipped with. We are too bound by confidentiality. Aw, too bad. Hmm. Then why have you come here to us? We just want to pay our respects to a bunch of has-been meisters that totally got their mm, handed to them by some antique mobile suits. Hmm? No, I'm just kidding. Relax. Even if they're all Gundam Meisters, they're very different from Cessna's group. I apologize for my brother's for my brother's rudeness. We felt it necessary to tell you directly what Team Trinity's goals are moving forward. Is it different from what the Ptolemy's goal goals are? No. We too seek to use armed innovation to eradicate war. However, we will do so at our own discretion. And that's why you won't be participating with us then? Correct. The higher-ups have begun to question your methods regarding how you go about conducting armed interventions. Basically, you're being way too lenient. Does this mean we're being dismissed? Please continue your, with your operations as you have in the past. In the meantime, we'll carry out interventions in accordance to our own judgment. Are we done here? I'm getting bored. Just one last question. Is your team a necessary component or of... Is your team a... If your team... Sorry, is your team a necessary component for the completion of Yolia Schenberg's overall plan? I believe that will be made clear once you see the actions will be taken. Alright, back at the bridge. The Trinity's Gundams have departed from the ship. They went through the trouble of speaking in, or in person about something that could have easily been covered through a transmission. Sheesh, I just don't know what today's I just don't know about today's youth anymore. I have a question, Tactical Forecaster Sumeragi. What is it? Was the true press of the previous mission to impress the world with the Trinities? I don't blame you for thinking that. They certainly made themselves stand out from the rest of us. Seems there are schemes brewing between both enemies and allies. Regardless, we were able to prevent the abnormality that Hata detected from occurring. What will you be doing now? We will remain in hiding until Haza opens the next gate. There are a number of reasons the major powers of this world may try to utilize them for use the utilize them for at this time. I understand. Then the Gundam Meisters will guide you to a new hiding spot. So they can keep an eye on us? It's purely to serve as an escort. Now, until next time. At any rate, Haza's prediction was accurate yet again. I don't think there's any room to doubt her by this point. Yes. But it's still the last thing she said about the mystery of this world. Does it not have something to do with celestial being? It could be referring to the celestial being itself. Although I predict there's more to it than just that. You mean there's still more going on? Yes. And this world isn't going to make it easy to uncover. Alright, the Patanus' Bridge. So this is the date on the thrones. 
It's what the old man figured out from Haro's examination. I wasn't there myself, so I'm just drawing an analogy here. But their systems and armor appear to use the same technology as we do. But their GN drives are different. Their solar reactors are different. Their functionality is the same, but there is no CD blanket on the reactor itself. Their drives have a limited activation time. You could say it's more of a pseudo-solar reactor. Does it mean that someone stole Celestial Bing's technology to make those Gundams? Does it does it not, the, the design data for the solar reactors only exists within Veda itself, which means... Are you saying someone hacked into Veda? But that's not possible. Nothing is absolute, Chris. But even if they did, it would take an enormous amount of time to make these solar reactors. That's why, as of now, there are only five solar reactors within Celestial Being. Before them being equipped on the Gundams for Setson and the others, there's only one other remaining besides those. At the very least, this confirms that there's a traitor in the organization. So it would seem. Seriously? Veda. The quantum, com the quantum computer system that serves as the lifeline of the Lo as the lifeline of the Eolia plan. If someone actually manages to hack into it, then we have to carry out the plan without using Veda. But doing that is... It's only been a few days since the Trinity's appearance, but they've already performed several interventions. It would appear Laguna Harvey performed his duty exactly as specified. Secretly spreading details of the pseudo-solar reactor through illicit channels seems to have done the trick. Things are progressing quickly. It wouldn't be surprising if the presence of the other world forces is what spurred Laguna into acting so quickly. It's growing rather hectic. We've been we've even had a rat appear sniffing around, and it's drawing closer to the uncovering of the inner workings of celestial being. We can let Laguna handle that as well. It's of no concern, none at all. Oh snap, the Trinity is going crazy. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna get to the point where um, Ali steals it, kills Michael and Johan, and then um, Nina retreats. Awesome, that's my brother. That was like freaking brutal, dude. I made sure to, plenty, plen I made sure to transfer plenty of high density GM particles. Yes, it was a simple task for the Throw 9's GN Mega Launcher. The control facility, the central facility was. No. Professor Elfman. Heh <laughs> Here they come. A whole lot of small fry. Captain, there are three units. I see them. They were just a little too late. Though, even if they had arrived sooner, the result would have been the same. <laughs> so right, Johan. Them being here doesn't even make a difference. Those bastards. How dare they? Howard! I'll show you, Gundam. Ah! The hell? This is the power of a flag. I, I, I'm in trouble if this keeps up. Not. G uh, Howard! Howard Mason! Captain, the flags are... <laughs> Professor, Howard, I will not forgive this Gundams. I don't care about the difference in our machines. Today, I fight like an avenging angel! S son of a... How does he move that fast? He's a charcoal, that's how. I will make you regret click killing our flag fighters. Gah. What are you doing, Michael? I slice off that right arm of yours. He stole Johan's. I was like, yeah, what? He stole Johan's bean saver and that was for Howard. You are right, Captain. My god, he can't withstand these kind of G's. You think you can get in our way? I'll tear you apart. Stop. We've already completed our mission. There's no reason to keep going after them. Michael, look what he did to us. There's another mission waiting. Gundam Meisters are very busy people. Fine, fine. Captain! Don't go after them without a plan. Ugh. How many times do you disagree? 
how many times we disgrace me by smearing my face in the dirt, Gundams. We may have survived, but Professor Elfman, the attack came as soon as he called me to speak about something important to him in person. I don't think, I don't think that's just a coincidence. Dang. Never mess with the Gundam, uh, Motaku. Damn it, just thinking about that captain's machine pisses me off. Should have crushed him while I had the chance. The mission takes priority, Michael. Besides, that pilot was exceptionally skilled. We've been working non-stop and that little pissant was such a pain. It can't be helped. We're doing this to eradicate war. Ugh, jeez. Let's hurry and return home. Oh no. No. No, 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 no. Well, this is where you traumatize someone. Hmm? Are those Gundams flying over there? Hang on. They having a party down there? We're working our butts off and they're just having a grand old time? You guys just don't get it. I think your world is about to change. You're better off dead. Oh, dang. Huh? Yo, they actually did it. No. Why? Oh, dang. The Trinities attacked civilians? Were they targeting someone who was promoting war? It doesn't look like that's the case. There's nothing about it in the mission data the treating Trinity answered in Taveda. And there's a solid chance they attacked those people for no reason at all. What the hell are those bastards doing? Do you think this is a game? This is seriously messed up. Since their appearance, they've carried out seven armed interventions. The level of destruction they've caused was extreme in every instance, but this time, they've already greatly affected our plan. An attack on civilians. By Gundams. Look at the news. It's bad. What is it this time? They've announced that all nations have formed a military alliance under the UN. It's the birth of the largest UN force in history. Oh, dang. We're at Tokyo... Settlement Area 11 Viceroy's office. I never imagined the world would come together this suddenly. Is the creation of the United Nations forces? Yes, you can see it on the news. It still doesn't feel real. I wonder if it was a joint military exercise, celestial being, and the presence of the other world forces that caused the world to gather in fear. There's another reason for such an abrupt change. What would that be? Someone has affected from Celestial Being. That is the primary reason behind this. Truly? The defector offered information about the organization, as well as a certain gift. Dude, imagine, never mind, I can't say imagine a nightmare frame with a GN drive, because a GN drive would probably be too big on a nightmare frame. I'm wondering, if this United Nations forces being formed was all part of Celestial Being's plan, because bringing the world together will help eradicate war? Ha! Like, it's going to be that simple. Even with the Earth Federation in our world, we're still wars are still going on. The real question here is if this was something Celestial Being was trying to set up or not. The situation's changed rapidly. Now that the Trinities have started taking more extreme measures. No matter how much they want to put a stop to war, they have no right to involve civil innocent civilians. If nothing else, I think the Talonius team has tried to keep damage to a minimum during their missions. That's how I lived with Setsuna. He tried to rescue Miki back when she was attacked by demons. The other three monsters also risked their lives to prevent the terrorists from reaching the enriched uranium storage facility. Yeah, they tried to accomplish the same thing, but their methods are totally different. Either way, Celestial Beings getting more and more suspicious by the second. You know, Nervous Priest is 82. Well, I'm not gonna deny that. If what Duo said earlier was right, about Celestial being possibly setting up the formation of the UN forces, then they would need to have a cause, a reason to exist. In other words, they need to have an enemy to defeat. Yeah, and that enemy could be us. What will Setsuna... Then what will Setsuna and the others do if that happens? Still no word from Haza yet. Captain, don't you think we should try to get through one of the gates ourselves? 
The gates in this world are all under the jurisdiction of various world powers. Fighting one of them would be inevitable. That would make us a prime target for the UN forces. But, Ptolemy's aside, Celestial being stopped brass has proven to be a lot less dependable than how Mithril was. We don't really know what the higher-ups in Mithril are thinking either, though. Captain, it seems Ganamexi and Virtue are preparing for takeoff in the hangar. Did you allow this? I don't recall given the order to launch. Hey, tactical forecaster Sumeragi gave them orders. But then she should have contacted us beforehand. Exi and Virtue have taken off. Call tactical forecaster Sumeragi at once. Yes, sir. They really aren't part of our group, so it's not as if they've gone AWOL, but still. We've contacted with Talonis. What is it, Captain Bright? Just now, Exia and Virtue departed from our ship. Did you give them some sort of mission? They left on their own because their mission has nothing to do with you. Could you elaborate? We've been studying the training's movements and determined that they are not presently they're not presently in the middle of a mission. Their target is an HRL military weapons production plant. However, there are many civilians that work there. But if they attack a place like that, yes. There will be a million numerous civilian casualties. And I believe Setson and Terry launched of their own volition in order to put a stop to the Trinities. If they're not careful, they'll end up in the crosshairs of both the Trinities and the HRL. That's all we'll be sending out Locke and Naluya as well. And that's your personal decision? Yes. By no means will we abandon the civilians in the plant. <laughs> then we're in agreement. We'll launch some of our units as well. You have my gratitude, Captain Bright. Dang. I still think about the fact that this is over 100 parts so far. Episode 79, Trinity. An HRL military weapons plan, huh? We're too short-handed for this. I'll just finish this quick and... Hmm? These readings are... What, it's you guys? Plan to get in the way of my mission? That's correct. We do not recognize the Trinity's mission as a necessary part of the plan. We have concluded that the Gundam Throne units are guilty of promoting conflicts. Commencing armed intervention. What the hell are you talking about? Can you hear me, Exeus Pilot? Why are you interfering? We are working towards elimination of war. WRONG! You are not Gundam! You're delusional, Exia Pilot. Michael, hold them back until Nina and I arrive. You got it, brother. You're gonna pay for getting in our way. Setsuna, the two remaining Gundam units are approaching. We'll use our ace once they do. Roger. Wait, I think it's faster? So we gotta use a spear command and a Hisatsu. Dang, it's got an attack range of four. So I wonder what his regular attack's gonna be. Ouch. Oh dang, he's got some blood out for Exia. Yeah, he's got some blood. He wants sex, yeah. There we go. Damn it, they're all working so they're working so well together. Thanks for waiting, bro. Glad to see you're still holding up, Michael. Of course, I'm getting tired of waiting. Let's take those punks out. 
Hold on. Let's see if we got more interlopers. Sorry for the wait, Setsuna. This isn't exactly going to be a fair one-on-one -on -one fight. But I don't think you'll mind, right? You people in front of the worlds are going to get in our way as well. We won't allow you... Yeah. We won't allow you to sacrifice innocent lives so easily. Don't you... Don't you start talking that? Yeah, don't you start taking the high ground. Whatever. Then we'll take you all down at once. No. Further combat won't be necessary. What the hell's going on? Systems are down. Sorry, what? No, what happened to my machine's controls? Systems are down. What, what the hell's going on? I can control all machines linked to Veda. That is the true power of Gundam Nadle. I was the only one who was given this power. I can trade the trial system for Gundam Meisters. Yeah, I brought, brought the Sonder to the Gundam Meisters, and for that, you deserve 10,000 deaths. Hmm? What? What happened to your area? The trial system was forcibly disengaged. I don't know what the heck just happened, but now we can fight. Us three are more than enough for you. No, we're withdrawing. You serious, Michael? But why? It's only going to end the planet if Gundam starts destroying each other. Tch, fine. You're running? You have enemies you should be dealing with before fighting us. Isn't that right, Lock on Stratos? Or rather, now Dylandy. Hmm? Now Dylandy? Bastard, you looked at my data. I've been reading up on you with the help of Veda. The information from level 7? You became a Gundam Meister because you wanted revenge on some people. Now one of them is right next to you. What do you mean? The KPSA was a rebel guerrilla group from the Republic of Krugis. One of their members was an individual by the name Soran Ibrahim. Hmm? So who's that? Soran Ibrahim! Better known by the code name Setsuna F. Seye. What? That's right. He was a member of the organization that kills your parents and sisters. He was one of those you swore to take revenge against. Setsuna, you. How do you know they aren't just lying? Because they know my real name. And Setsuna hasn't said a word. Mm. Then Setsuna. Nina, Michael. Yeah, gotcha. Huh? More new energy readings? But this is... It's coming with someone other than us? How can that be possible? Our GM particles readings approaching us. That ah, this pain means that girl wants to come in here. What are? Yep, the GNXs. I like the fact that, um, what's called, Akito and Camille are participating in these things. I'm honestly surprised that they haven't talked about Boson jumping or the fact that the Black Slinger can teleport. I have no idea why Celestial Being and the other worlders are fighting one another, but it doesn't change our mission. Chobu, GNX team. Assume offensive maneuver. Attack! Ugh, the arena is definitely showing GM particles, but no one besides us should have weapons like that. Where did those units come from? This pain. That girl called Perry is definitely there. They had to go. They had to be from the HRL. I don't give a damn who it is. Get them, my fangs. That will never hit me. You're kidding. They avoided Michael's fangs? This machine can keep up with my reaction time. It is the power of a Gundam. Take this. Gah. We're not at a sphere disadvantage. As it stands, we'll be... Michael, Nina, we're retreating. This time. But Michael, no complaints. Uh, never imagined they could produce a new mobile suit capable of rivaling our own. We need to get instructions about what to do next from Laguna immediately. Hold it. No pursuit with them, second lieutenant. Our orders are to, to defend the manufacturing weapons plant. Well, as, as well as capture any of, as well as the capture of any other world machines, understood? Sir, please forgive me, Lieutenant Colonel. 
if they're staying here and that means their targets are celestial beings gundams and our own machines we are prepared to have them come after us at some point or another regardless we won't get anywhere until we do something about those gun knockoffs over there we're gonna have a talk later setsuna right now prioritize making it out of here alive right hallelujah how's your headache it's fine i should be good if i can't keep it together now then we're all done for these are the world's gundams all units remember that those 10 machines are precious don't let them be damaged in the fight all right yeah they're gonna be attacking me for now Okay, so we just gotta move everybody around there. But yeah, I like on how the Zeta Gundam and the Black Selena are concerning themselves in this. Like, they have anything to do with the story. We'll slowly but surely get through this, though. What are the objectives, anyways? Spear command twice. Ah, uh, yeah, it's come to me. Uh, but when you think about it, now we they skipped up a bunch of things. I'm surprised they didn't do the um, Nina kissing sets in a bit. I guess it would make sense not to, since they're trying to quicken things. As you notice, most of the events concerning the tr thrones literally just happened with the blink of an eye. And now we're already on to the GNXs. As it stated in game, a couple of days have already passed as well, so. They know what they're doing. Kind of want to invest in the Zeta Gundam. I don't know yet. The best tactic for now is just to uh, weaken them all. I'm surprised they don't say anything about the other Gundams though, but I guess it makes sense. They will probably wouldn't recognize them as Gundams, since in this world, Gundams use GN drives. Hmm? The GN X has not only just been created, we shouldn't take this too far. Then we stop moving. Now's our chance. Let's withdraw. The war is spreading. Gundams. I didn't get a chance to use this finishing move. Oh well. Union Upper Orbit Station to Hangar. This is all there is to report on the battle between the GNX team and Celestial Being. 
No. Right. Hmm. I thought they would have performed a bit better. Oh well. There should be nothing to worry about now that we've let the Trinity eat that man. Let's be off, Ribbons. To the moon, you mean? I don't believe it's necessary for you to have to accompany me yourself, Master Alejandro. Alejandro. You're go you've gone through a lot of effort to acquire this information. I simply have to see it for myself. Furthermore, this is a wish that has long since been held by the Corner family. Correct. But so long as Veda was around, there's nothing we could do to act on it. And then by a stroke of fortune, an angel descended upon me. That was you, Ribbons Allmark. I will do whatever I can to repay you. It's because of you that I have been able to act beyond the scope of Veda's vision. You've allowed this to come to fruition. I merely apologize that it has taken so long. Heh. <laughs> Ribbons. You are without a doubt my very own guardian angel. The bridge rock I am. So you don't know anything about those machines either. All I know is that they aren't with us. So it's already the Trinity's Gundams as well. They probably weren't informed about those machines either. Whether you believe me or not is entirely your choice. But I'd like to give you our assumption on what the current state of affairs is. Let's hear it. We have no doubt that there's a traitor within Celestial Being, and they are someone within the inner workings of the organization. How do you know that? The Gundams, as well as their reactors, the GN drives, are top secret. The data, the data for them only exists within Veda, a quantum computer vital to Celestial Being. Only a select few have access to it, and even fewer have access to the data pertaining to Gundams and GN drives. I see. Veda is capable of obtaining information from any terminal in the world connected to its network. The missions passed down to we of the autonomous and seen Trinity both originate from Veda. You're saying you get your orders from a computer? Veda has no self-awareness. It only makes judgments based on predictions from the data it's gathered. If it gathers data from all terminals in the world that it's connected to, then there, there's no doubt how accurate its predictions would be. If someone had access to Veda, then they would be able to determine what our objectives are. If information was being leaked, they would explain the precise timing of a number of events. It's possible they were expecting Setson and the others to appear during the course of the Trinity's last mission. And it's also very likely that they were they know where both the Rock and the Timus are hiding out. Yes, but unlike the Times and our Gundams, which are linked to Veda, the Rock Island shouldn't face any difficulties moving to a new location. At least for the time being. I understand. I appreciate that you were willing to share some of your confidential information with us. No. As we discovered that there was indeed a traitor in our midst, we simply decided that it wouldn't be beneficial to keep information to ourselves from now on. Still, your position is growing less favorable by the second. Yes, we must take action nonetheless. He pulls a gun on him? Setsuna. Lock on. Are you really going to shoot Setsuna? Remember what Johan said? My parents and my younger sister were killed by a KSPA suicide bombing incident. Setsuna, I understand you were just being used by KPSA and that you were fighting a battle that you never wanted. I know all too well how distorted this world is. But I was dragged into this distorted world and lost my family. I lost them! Is that the reason you accepted to the offer to become a Meister? Yeah, that's right. I realize I'm a walking contradiction. Now I'm doing the same thing a terrorist does. Instead of cutting the chain of violence, I made the chain. I made the choice to fight back, because I sincerely believe that the world needs to be changed from its very foundation. So that a tragedy like that never happens again. I thought, if only I had something so powerful that could serve as a turn to the world. Cessna, were you really part of the KPSA? I was. I was born in Crujus with the name Sarandi Borhin. What Johan said was the truth. I accept my punishment for not stop. I'll accept my punishment for not stopping the killing after I've changed the world. Before that happens, there's something I have to do. Take revenge for your family and drive your, away your resentment? That's right. Setsuna, I want to shoot you so badly right now. Let me avenge my family. Let me settle this score. I used to believe in God. I was forced to believe. And so you think that means you're not responsible? There is no God in this world. I believed in God and then found out that he didn't exist. All because of one man. And which one is that? He was the leader of the KPSA, Al Yal Sanchez. Al Yal Sanchez? He's a mercenary now. He was there at the joint military exercise. First a guerrilla, then a mercenary? 
What is this guy? Some kind of damned war junkie? A man who enjoys war. Is there someone like that in every world? Oh yeah, Yazan. When I met him in the previous battle, I made sure to confirm it was really him. He wanted to know where his god was, and if there was no god inside him, then all this time I just... Cessna. Cessna, let's ask you one... let me ask you one question. What do you want to achieve with Exia? The eradication of war. You won't be able to if I shoot you. I don't mind. You could do it instead of me. Change this assorted world in my pace. In my place. But while I'm alive, I'll keep fighting. Not as Serenity Rim, but as Celestial Beings Gundam Meister. As Setson FSA. Piling a Gundam? Yes. I am Gundam. I am. Gundam? Huh. <laughs> you're so crazy, I don't even want to shoot you anymore. You realize you're an impossible Gundam nut, don't you? Thank you. To me, that's great comp that's a great compliment. <laughs> so, this is being human. It looks like Setson's obsession with Gundam stems from his past then. You heard all that, Lieutenant Amuro? With all this commotion, how could I not? Sorry about that. We'll be going back to Ptolemus. Mr. Sumeragi's orders. We can't cause trouble for Londo Bell. And besides, we have our own battle to fight. Oh yeah, Nina. Oh dear God, Nina, why were you so evil? Why was such a cute design so evil? You caused all this pain to Luis. Never forget in Z2, um... Yeah, in Z2-2, when Luis fights, she actually has lines against Hedel, Colin, and all of them that they went to school together with. The UN forces new weapons were successfully able to dry off celestial beings' forces. The people are rejoicing. Hmm. <laughs> Luis. Saji. Why are you here? I heard you were in an accident. Sorry it took me so long to get here. But you're skipping school. Don't worry about that. What a relief. You seem well. Thank God for that. Oh, that's right. I got something for you. But it's not just because you're in the hospital. Here. What's this? It's that set of rings you wanted a while back. I worked like crazy during our exam break and I made enough to buy them. They're for you, Luis. It, it's beautiful. L Luis, I have something I, something I want to tell you. I'm, I'm sorry, Saji. You went to the trouble of buying these. They're so beautiful, but... But I can't wear this ring. But... But why? Because of... This. <gasps> Your left hand. I'm sorry, Saji. I'm sorry. <laughs> Luis. No. Ah. Ah! Dang it. As soon as we come back, we get attacked. Now the whole hideout's been destroyed. They'll likely be able to pin us down at any other emergency location we were to use as well. Then we don't have to anywhere we can go? What are you supposed to do then, Michael? Laguna hasn't said anything, right? I bet he's the one that sold us out. Relax. I've asked for Wang Lu Mu to make arrangements to get us in the space. Oh yeah, that chick that came in got a hold of us herself. Can we even trust her? H hey, look over there. In A, you enact. They're signaling to say they have no intention of attacking. Nina, stand by on the throne. Roger. He Wait, they're, they're dumb enough. Yo, you guys taking on the whole world and having a hard time with it? Who are you? My name is Ali Al Sanchez. I'm a mercenary, as you can see. I've been asked by my sponsors to help you on your way. All they could send for reinforcements was one machine? Who was it that hired you? Laguna? Laguna? Ooh, you mean Laguna Harvey? That old guy's dead. What? <laughs> I love I love such as his um humor though. I killed him. Michael? Time to die. Bastard. Oof. So, next part is where he steals the throne and then we have to fight him and we get the Trans Am. The downside is Trans Am is a limited attack. It's a limited SSR and I didn't go for it because I didn't know about it at the time. But oh well. Thank you all for watching. Until the next part, goodbye.